today. That's how long of a day it's been. It's Monday. How about that? It is Monday. And your girl is tired. But I was inspired by a conversation I had with two separate clients today that I wanted to share with you guys. And I am like... 220 steps away from hitting 10k steps I got like next to no sleep last night circumstantial and tonight I want to talk to you guys about making your health a priority again who needs to talk about this with me I got some water here and I squeezed lime in it, in it. I just love putting citrus in my water. Hello guys, welcome, welcome. Mm, 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 mm. For those of you guys who don't know me, it is Christine with Gage Girl Training. Should you gain weight during your cycle? Most people do. Most people bloat up anywhere from like two to five pounds. And if you are wondering what is on my lap, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yes, I have a Squishmallow. It is a baby shark squishmallow. It's just comfortable on my lap. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Kim. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about making your health a priority again. And I was really inspired because I have a client right now who, two, two different clients who have a very similar issue. And if you have been struggling to make your health a priority again because... You've been busy with work. You've been busy with life. Maybe you're overwhelmed. Maybe you just got a lot on your plate. Maybe you're burnt out. Maybe you're just burnt out and you know your health is important. You know you feel better when you're drinking water. Hey Pam, you know you feel better when you're taking good care of yourself. You know you're less stressed when you're exercising, but for whatever reason, you are not in a groove, you are not in a flow, and you are last. Anybody in that boat? Is anybody in that boat of just burnout? You're tired, you're exhausted. You are so exhausted that you feel like you need more coffee. You feel like you need more sleep. You feel like you need comfort food to feel better. But the reality is that's not the solution and you know it and you know it. And if anybody here is so used to putting your job first, your career first, your partner first, your family, your kids, like whoever, just, and you just feel like your cup is just empty, 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 all the, all the dang time. I need you guys to remember this. It's a very profound fact. You can't look at taking care of yourself as another chore on a to-do list. Does anyone ever here feel like you have this long ass mental to-do list? It could be like, oh, I gotta do laundry. I gotta organize that catch all spot in my house. I gotta organize this. I gotta do this. I gotta, and let's just say you have this mental list that's always running of shit you have to do, but you just haven't got to yet, right? And, if you find yourself putting exercise, eat healthy, drink water, weight train, get protein, if that stuff is starting to move onto this just to-do list where you're like, oh, I'll get to it when I get to it, that is the complete wrong strategy, that is the complete wrong approach because guess what? It gets done when it needs to get done. It gets done when it's a priority and too many of you guys are relying on motivation. Too many of you guys are relying on being in a good mood. Too many of you guys are relying on having the time and having the resources. It doesn't work that way. It gets done if it's a priority. Think of all the things you got going on in your life. And if you guys are watching this and you enjoy my YouTube content, I'm gonna ask you guys a major favor. Give this a thumbs up. Give this a thumbs up. It just helps it helps the algorithm things out here on YouTube. Angel May says, I put myself on the back burner way too often. And it's a really bad habit. It is a bad habit. Um, I need to, right now, my mom passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm not eating great, stress eating. 
I am of the estate planning and planning celebration of life service, getting family and hotels. I am so sorry for your loss. And loss of a loved one is something that is a completely separate situation. However, your mom would not want you to not take care of yourself. Your mom would not want you running yourself ragged. Nobody here should be running on empty. And if you are one of those people who are walking around with every check engine light on, but you're not stopping to look under the hood and take care of you, you are about to have a problem. And I don't want you guys to get to the point where you reach complete and utter burnout to do something about it. Because burnout, we've all been there to a certain extent, some maybe more than others. Burnout is not cute. Burnout is not a badge of honor. Burnout is something that we need to look at as foolish. Burnout is foolish because the thing is it can be prevented. And I'm telling you guys, nobody is going to make you exercise and nobody's gonna slap the food, the alcohol, the snacks, the this, the this. No one's gonna slap it out of your hand. You can't rely on being on a good mood and you can't rely on being motivated. You need to rely on habits and you need to rely on discipline. And I want this to be something that you're excited to do and I'm gonna explain why. If you look at this through the lens of, I need to lose weight, oh my gosh, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, and it, you just get so overwhelmed. If you get so overwhelmed by all the shit you have to do that it puts you in this state of mental paralysis, I call this deer in headlights mode. Has any of you guys ever been in deer in headlights mode? Or maybe you are in deer in headlights mode. Deer in headlights mode is when you gotta do stuff, you know you need to, but you're just stuck. You're like stuck because you don't know where to start. You feel like nothing you ever do is good enough. You feel like the second you start, you're almost like on this like countdown clock, like where the pressure is on and you need to be losing weight and you need to be looking at the scale and you need to be seeing changes. And if the changes aren't happening, then, oh my gosh, I'm doing something wrong. Da -da 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 -da. Guys, no, we need to migrate out of deer and headlights mode and we need to move into this phase where you choose to take care of yourself, not for weight loss, not for vanity, but for sanity. Not for vanity, but for sanity. And it is a night and day difference when you choose to focus on your health for sanity as opposed to vanity. Think about that for a minute, my friends. And I want you guys to write that down. I want you guys to, to really resonate with what I'm saying tonight. Focus on your health for your sanity, for your peace of mind. Because guys, when you exercise, it takes your cortisol from here. It just takes your stress and like, it puts it in a different place, guys. Your gut health is better. Your digestion's better. He, who, sanity, not vanity. And when you start focusing, focusing on your health for the right reasons, I'm telling you, you're gonna want to squeeze that workout in because instead of being like, oh my gosh, did I lose weight yet? Oh my goodness, I only lost this. Oh my goodness, I needed da, da, da. And you're so overwhelmed with your rate of progress as opposed to like, dang it, am I even taking care of myself? Am I even making myself a priority? Christy here says, I work in an office setting and I work out about two to three times a week. I drink about half a gallon to a gallon of water a day. I honestly feel like I don't eat enough and I'm afraid if I do up my calories, I'll gain weight. Christy, 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 Christy. I just had this long ass conversation with a client about this. Your body needs nutrients. You need nutrients to function. And pardon the way I look right now. I shouldn't even say pardon, but like I'm tired. I have no makeup on. Um, I think I got like maybe like 15 minutes of sleep last night. I've had a hell of a night. But for some reason, I'm here because I had something to say. I got my workout in anyway. I got my steps done anyway. I tracked my macros anyway. And I know that if 
I'm as tired as I am and I'm as exhausted as I am and I'm still able to get it done because I made myself a priority and I have extra bandwidth to get on here to tell you guys, you know what guys, let's focus on our sanity together. Let's focus on our sanity. Um, and thank you, Miss E.N. I have a hard time working out because you don't know what exercises to do. Well, girl, I am the owner of Gage Girl Training. I make workout programs. And I would invite you to sign up for the holiday challenge. I'll provide you with workouts. I'll provide you with macros. You get to meet with me every week um, in the Zoom meetings. Um, everything you need is going to give that to you. How do you cram so many calories into a 16-8 fasting window? By planning ahead. By planning ahead. Um, I find that my clients that do the 16-8 fasting window, they tend to do best by using a two, me two big meal strategy. You do two bigger meals and like a post-workout shake. And it just takes planning. You need to look at your total number of calories you have for the day, Christy. And then what you would do is you first subtract out your post-workout shake. Now, if you're on a high protein approach, um, you probably wanna take two scoops of protein in your, in your post-workout, deduct all of that from your calories and macros, right? And then take what's left, split it in half, and then make yourself two meals. And you can meal prep and you can plan it out. And it sounds like cramming, but it's not when you plan it out and you really proactively figure out how much you need to be eating. Now, with that being said, my friends, let's talk about sanity over vanity. Now, the thing is, when you prioritize your mental health, your mental well-being, and you're in a good headspace where you are organized, you are improving your time management, you are thinking ahead about what you're going to eat, you are grocery shopping, and you are stocking the fridge with healthy foods. Um, clinician KCH, 45 minutes on a treadmill at a good pace to get your heart rate up is golden. Working out can seem overwhelming, but keep it simple. And I could not agree more. Um, not everybody likes cardio. I, I enjoy cardio very, very much. I find it very relaxing. I find it relaxing because it's that time of day where the world just gets quiet. <laughs> and all it is is just you and your breath. And does anyone here ever just love losing yourself in a workout. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where you don't have to think about anything for like an hour or however long you're working out. You just get to turn the noise off to the world and you can just be. You can just be, no one's bothering you, no one's calling you. And even if somebody is calling you or texting you, you could ignore it for the time being. You don't have to worry about anything else but just being present and just getting through the workout. And I'm telling you, that is like a complete and utter bliss to me. It's just bliss because it's calming, it's relaxing, it's restorative. And I think that we need to carve out more moments in the day where you can calm your mind. You got to get your dog out and you're trying to get some light cardio. Good for you. Good for you to all of my um, fur baby parents in here. Use your pets to motivate you. And Angel May says, I need to get that me time again. Girl, do it. Do it. The only thing stopping at you is you. And the thing is, guys, when we focus on sanity over vanity, there's just something that's less overwhelming about it. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like, who cares if your hair is frizzy? Who cares if your waistline isn't where you want it to be yet? Who cares if the shit's not fitting you right right now? Like, don't worry about any of that shit. Just focus on getting your mental health in a good spot. Get exercising again. Start moving and shifting your thought process because guys, as women, a lot of us are very emotionally driven. A lot of us get overwhelmed very easily and we can allow our emotions to override logic. We can allow our emotions to mentally paralyze us to the point that you just get stuck. You literally get stuck, like I said, deer in headlights mode. And the only way to get out of that is to choose action, is to choose making yourself a priority. And I want you guys to begin to romanticize taking care of yourself. 
I want you to romanticize eating a healthy meal. I want you to romanticize a walk. I want you to romanticize just getting your butt to the gym. Romantic, like, and I, I'm using the word romanticize is because there is so much epic awesomeness that you are going to get to experience by taking care of you and falling in love with taking care of yourself. And so many of you guys are burnt out, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're overwhelmed, but the only way out is through. It's through, it is a choice, and healing is a choice. Being overwhelmed is a choice. Being stuck on stupid is a choice. And I don't want you guys to plow through the rest of this year in zombie mode. You guys, the, the clocks just changed, it's dark out now. It's been dark since five o'clock, as you guys know, and it's only gonna get colder and we're gonna blink and it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's like what, two and a half weeks away? Like, like how did we get here? <laughs> it's insane. But guys, please do not go into zombie mode for the rest of this year. When I say zombie mode, I'm not talking about not enjoying the holidays. I'm not talking about that. I mean zombie mode where you just go through the motions, you just eat all the bullshit, you don't take care of yourself. You don't move as often as you need to. You don't eat in a way that feels good to your insides. And um, the reason why I'm telling you guys all of this is because I want you guys to choose you. Choose you. Choose your health. Choose you as a priority because guess what? If you're not okay, nothing's okay. If you're not okay, nothing's okay, my friends. And I want you to take this seriously. I want you to take this very, very seriously, what I'm saying. I am not saying all of this so that way you guys can feel bad and ashamed and guilty. No, quite the opposite. I want you guys to be inspired to try again. I want you guys to be inspired to give a shit again. I want you to find just a mustard seed of hope and remembering. I want you guys to really think in your mind how good it felt when you took care of yourself, not when you starved yourself, not when you put so much undue pressure on yourself that it, it just overwhelmed you, not when you just ate so little and trained like a maniac and just did something that was completely unsustainable. But when you chose you, who here remembers a time? Can you all remember a time in your life, maybe in the last couple of years where, maybe if it wasn't in the last couple of years, I want you guys to really think hard for a minute. When was the last time you were a priority? When was the last time you were a priority. And Kimmy Kim X says, I've been working out for almost two weeks and I feel great. Yes, girl, yes. And this is the type of stuff we need to share with each other. We need to say out loud because guys, <laughs> you never regret a workout. You never regret a healthy meal. It feels good to feel good, my friends. And we need to stop romanticizing giving up. You guys know what I'm saying? Because in your brain, you think giving up is letting yourself off the hook. You think, well, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want. I'm gonna snack on whatever I want. I'm gonna eat, drink, and be merry. Right, guys, is that really, is that really the solution? Is drinking to the point that you have headaches and feeling hungover the next day? And as a result, your cravings go up? Is eating so much bullshit that you feel bloated and you feel like you can't fit into your jeans and you feel like you can only wear certain outfits and you are literally stuffed, but you just keep eating mindlessly because why the hell not? Because you're gonna do you and you're gonna do whatever you feel like. Like your stomach's all jacked up. You, you feel like you got acid reflux, you got heartburn, like your bowel movements are a mess. Like you're not sleeping well is why do we romanticize being able to do whatever the hell we want whenever we want to do it? Because that is not freedom. Being able to eat whatever in any quantity, at any amount, at any limit, any time, any day, whatever you want, whenever you want it, that is not freedom. That is chaos. That is complete and utter chaos. And you need to stop convincing yourself in your brain 
that that comfort you that temporary comfort that you are going to receive of just feeding into your emotions feeding into your emotional need for comfort you need to stop telling yourself that this is going to make you feel better when the reality is it's a temporary dopamine spike that ultimately results in you feeling like shit. And who knows what I'm talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about because we have all been there. We've all been there. And I'm telling you guys, let's instead start romanticizing how awesome it would be to have a fridge full of like fresh fruit and nice light salads and really wonderful lean proteins and just nicely seasoned veggies and like really healthy fats and just food that makes you feel good from the inside out. Like let's romanticize that. You guys understand what I'm saying? Let's romanticize that. And guys, if you're watching this and you are just kind of lost right now and you're not really following anything, you're not really committed to anything, I'm inviting you to join my holiday challenge. I am having a holiday challenge between Thanksgiving and Christmas. It is from Black Friday, the day right after Thanksgiving till December 23rd. We got 28 days, four solid weeks together to do a challenge, to focus on our macros, to focus on our mental health, to fo you're gonna get custom workouts based off of your macro type for the home or gym. You're gonna get custom macros that change every two weeks based on your macro type. If you don't know what a macro type is, I wrote a best-selling book called Unlock Your Macro Type. Now, do I have anybody here who's an Amazon Prime member or like a Kindle person? If you are Amazon Prime or a Kindle-y person, um, my book is available now off our Kindle Unlimited. Um, but it is also available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You can literally walk into a Barnes & Noble tonight and pick up my book. The reason why I'm talking about this is because your macro type describes the best way to fuel your body. Some people do better when they are fat fueled. Some people do better when they are protein fueled. Some people do better when they are carb fueled. And this will help you figure that out. There's a quiz in here. Um, it's a great read. There are meal plans in here. There are workouts. There are resources. This is literally the macro Bible. Like everything about how to calculate your calories, your macros, and why is in here. So please learn more about it. Um, if you can also take the quiz on my website, if you're just curious. Oh, thank you, Pam. I, I really am glad that you have the book and you enjoy it. And if anybody else here has my book and you've enjoyed it, I would love it if you would leave me an Amazon book review. It just helps a lot, you guys. Um, people really take reviews seriously. So I would love that if any of you guys have the book and have read it, but if you don't have the book, pick it up. It's a steal. I believe the hardcover is like 19 bucks on Amazon. Um, it, it's an audio book, ebook, all that good stuff. But I am inviting you guys to actually make a commitment to your health tonight and commit to the holiday challenge. I am doing this too because guess what, my friends? So many people end up getting, gaining weight between Thanksgiving and Christmas. They gain weight between Thanksgiving and Christmas. It starts, you know where it starts? And I've fallen in this trap before. You know where it starts? It starts with the Thanksgiving leftovers. It starts with the Thanksgiving leftovers. And then it just never ends. It just never ends from there. And the next thing you know, it's Christmas, you're like, well, why bother? Because you know that zone between Christmas and New Year's where you don't even know what day it is? And then it just goes. Like, do you really want to sabotage your body for six, seven, eight more weeks for the rest of this year? Or do you actually want to do something about it and feel good again and, and re be reminded of how good it feels to feel good. Guys, you can sign up on gaugegirltraining.com. The enrollment for the challenge ends in three more days because you guys, the challenge starts right after Thanksgiving and I'm sorry, I'm not doing your macros <laughs> on Thanksgiving day. So sign up, plan ahead. And if you guys got questions, you wanna talk to me about anything, shoot me a private message over on my Instagram account and I'll be happy to chat with you and help you sort out what you need to do. But friends, um, Joining the holiday challenge is gonna be a game changer because guess what? 
it's going to make you a priority again. It's going to make you a priority again. It's going to force you to make yourself a priority again. Because guess what? Some of us need that push. I need that push, you guys. And it's okay to need help. And if you're one of those people who is burnt out, you're not making yourself a priority, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you are that person, you are probably also one of those people who's afraid to ask for help. Who's one of those people who's afraid to ask for help? You're, you're a strong-willed person and I love it and I appreciate that. And you're like, I can do this on my own, I got this. I don't, I don't need to do this. I, I can Google this or I could just read your book, Christine. I don't need to commit to a challenge. But guys, what's wrong with signing yourself up for something that is going to engage you with like-minded people, move you closer to your goal, give you something to focus on, give you workouts that you can check off and work through for the home or gym, give you macros, give you a group that you can meet with once a week. You guys, it's only for four weeks and it's going to make you feel better. Like it's really gonna make you feel better. And yes, you will lose weight and you will drop inches. All that stuff will happen, but that's secondary to your sanity. Sanity over vanity, my friends, yes. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be snatched and to look sexy naked. There's nothing wrong with that. And I encourage all those things, but I think right now I am speaking to the person who doesn't feel like themselves anymore, who's sick and tired of being sick and tired, who is sick and tired of just not feeling important enough to make yourself a priority. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? The only one who's going to do that is you. The only one who's gonna do that is you. And it breaks my heart to think that there's people watching this right now. You're hearing me and you know I'm right. You know you need to take better care of you, but my message is gonna go in one ear and out the other and what's gonna happen? You're gonna go back to just grinding yourself into the ground. You're gonna go back to grinding yourself into the ground. and. It's not cute, you guys, it is not cute. None of us are getting any younger. And that is just not a way to live. It is no way to live running on fumes. And you're not gonna feel better until you start pouring into yourself. Who pours into you? Who pours into you? And I, and I mean that sincere, sincerely. Who checks you? Who's like, hey, did you get your steps done? Hey, are you drinking your water? Hey, did you stay within your calories? Who checks you? Who makes sure you're okay? Because I guarantee you, if you don't have anybody looking after you, anybody to talk to, anybody to really sort your shit out with you guys, I do one-on-one -on -one online coaching. If you really need that support and that foundation because when you invest in yourself and when you invest in your health, guys, you get it back tenfold. The, the money that you would pay to join my challenge, it's $119. It's insignificant compared to the value of feeling better in your skin, having energy, being a priority again, being in a good swing, being in a better flow, getting back into those disciplined habits that are going to drive your success regardless of whether or not you are in a good mood or not. So guys, I invite you to join the holiday challenge. Again, if anybody has questions, if anyone wants to talk to me about any aspect of the challenge, about whether or not it's right for you, um, shoot me a private message on my Instagram account at Gage Girl Training, and I would love to support you. So my friends, I'm sending you lots of love tonight. Take care of you again. Let's start taking care of you again. Remember guys, sanity over vanity. I love you all. Peace out. Good night.